Tilt this any further because it'll all come crashing down. Crustinis. We're gonna make crostinis with this, and we're also gonna add some goat cheese on there as a layer. And these are going to be delicious. They are. Mm. Ooh, this mm. is that crunch. <laughs> you hear that crunch? Mm. Mm. If you like what you see, we'd love for you to click that subscribe button below and the bell. Ring our bell. Let's start making these. All right, so here we added olive oil, and now we are going to let it get heated, and then we are going to add some lovely garlic. Chopped garlic is gonna go in, and you just wanna cook it until it smells fragrant, which is actually pretty quickly. Yeah, so the next step will be. We're gonna add our mushrooms. We have the shiitake here we're gonna add, and then we're gonna add some of our white mushrooms. And if you need to add a little bit more oil to this, you can, or if you want to add a little bit of um, water to it while they're cooking down in order to prevent them from getting too brown, you can do that also. So we're going to get these sauteed down. Whoops, we lost one. We did, we lost one little fella. <laughs> he hopped out of the pot. All right, so now, now that we got these mushrooms sauteed down, we'll take them off and we can start making our crostinis. Yes. All right, so now to make the crostinis, we're gonna cut these into, what size are you gonna go Little with? Little thin, thin slices, maybe a quarter inch. And as she's cutting, I'm going to create a lovely uh, roasted garlic butter spread that we're gonna put on top. So we soften some butter, and then I always like to add a little salt into my garlic butter. I can already smell that roasted mm, so nice. garlic. And these are going to bake in the oven. We have it set at 450. It's going to be a quick blast of heat. We just want to brown them and kind of toast them up um, so they're a little bit firmer and have a crunch to them uh, for the mushroom pate when we put it on. And while we're cutting this and doing this right now is because our mushrooms need to cool down just a little bit before we blend. And I can actually start laying these okay. out and buttering these. I like to use a brush. I think it's the easiest way to, to saturate with this butter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a missing piece here. Some, Wherever did it go? <laughs> some, sometimes. You have to try the product. <laughs> oh, it's good without being toasted even. So now we know. Beforehand is very good. Let's hope afterwards it's just as good. Did you know that mushrooms are excellent for your health? I'm not experienced with mushrooms as you. So why don't you share some of the health benefits of this dish? Mushrooms, especially the shiitake mushrooms that we put in here, are actually very beneficial for your immune system. Go ahead. I was going to say, would, nowadays is very important to be on top of your yes. immune system. Um, they also are a great, um, through studies and research, they help a lot with uh, cancer, to help prevent cancers. They have an ingredient in them that actually um, attack any abnormal cells that try to grow. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. And that's the mushrooms themselves, huh? And it's the mushrooms themselves. So this mushroom pate is delicious as it's going to be, is also going to help a lot in your health. We're going to put these on a cooking sheet. Let me put these away. All right, I've got the cookie sheet right here. Go ahead and pop that in. I think I just heard our timer go off too, saying that our oven's ready. All right, we are going to put these in the oven now. All right, our crostinis were just taken out of the oven. They do have a nice smell in the air. Now we're going to take these mushrooms because we've let them cool down a bit and we're going to put them inside of our food processor. You want tiny little pieces? You want to take care of that. Right Woo. Okay, here we go. Might get a little loud. 
Nice little pulse. How fine do we want? We want it pretty fine, but we need to add a few more ingredients, so I'm going to leave it like that now. Take it off. And That's amazing how fast it actually makes yeah, that almost I completely... I barely touched it. So this is a little bit faster than mincing with a knife. <laughs> Get a food process. <laughs> <laughs> so in this, we are going to add some sherry. And we are going to add some port wine. Mmm, smell that. Smell that port wine. Doesn't that smell oh, good? That's a very nice port wine. Yes. Delicious. I'm going to add that. And um, we're going to add a little bit of balsamic vinegar. So we're going to give a lot of nice flavors to these healthy mushrooms. So we feel like we're eating something that's And that's the aged, that's the aged balsamic yes. vinegar. The better the aging, the better the taste for this. And then we're also going to pop in some lemon zest. Some nutmeg, just a pinch of nutmeg and a pinch of um, cayenne pepper. And that's going to go in there too. So a little heat. So a little bit of heat. We're wimps, so I didn't do a lot of heat. If you like heat, add more. And then let me just add a little bit of salt and pepper and the nuts and we'll be good to go. Mm. Salt. Salt to taste and pepper to taste. And then I'm adding a little bit of toasted walnuts to this so there's a little crunch in our pate because we are all about the crunch. <laughs> the texture. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you were doing earlier when you were roasting. I didn't know you were roasting them for this. Yes. Thing. All right, let's pulsate this thing. Here get it going. Go. Oh, probably done. <laughs> It'd be like, get my knife out. <laughs> Already done. I see some chunks. Yeah, I was going to re-stir it and put them down here. So you push it down, turn it back on. Just simple, to make simple, sure. Simple. This looks like a pate. That's so funny you're saying that because we're going to be making a pate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oops, there's more hype down the side. Let's yes. do one more little swirl and I think we're good to go. And wow. then... I am going to give this just a little taste. That's really good. There's a lot of nice flavors in there. I don't really taste the heat, so I probably could add a little bit more. A little more cayenne pepper. A little more cayenne pepper than a pinch. Um, and that's surprising for me. So this is ready to go um, onto our crostinis. Okay, we got our pate here. We have our crostinis here. And we have some goat cheese. Some delicious, soft goat cheese. We're gonna put that on the base layer of the crostini. So as I put this on, then you can start putting the pate mm -hmm. on, and we will get this done in no time. You can pretty these up with a little bit of chives if you'd like to put on the top, or fresh parsley, that would also be good. These are real easy to make too. Mm -hmm. I think other than the cool down time waiting for that, um, this is pretty quick, simple, easy, nice appetizer to put out. And delicious. Very yummy and healthy for you. Healthy, because the mushrooms, the mushrooms are good for you. Mushrooms are very good for you. Voila! <laughs> Voila! Ooh. It's ready to go. Now that we got all of these done, we, oh they look. They do look very good. We will take these by the fire and see let you, you know. Yeah, see you over there. Hey, everybody. We are now by the fire with these delicious shiitake mushroom pate. With goat cheese. And crostinis covered in garlic. So we're going to give these a shot. I know the bread is going to have that amazing crust, which is so important. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to grab mine. And you grab yours and let us toast to the most delicious tostini. <laughs> and to the fruits of our neighbors. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. The crunch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Creaminess. The goat cheese blends well with the mushrooms. All those, all mm -hmm. those flavors of balsamic vinegar. The port wine. 
for oh, wine, the sherry. The sherry. Wow. Mm -hmm. that really I don't is. taste any of the cayenne, though. I don't taste any of the heat. So next time I think I'll add a little bit more cayenne pepper. A little more heat to it would be mm -hmm. probably okay. Nice balance. But boy, that's well balanced. Yeah, it's nice. And they're going to be nice appetizers to put out because they're not staying heated. They don't stay heated. They're sort Right. Of Make it in advance. Put them out on a platter. Mm -hmm. Just move away so if you have any comments or suggestions even on that let us know lighting sound what we're making everything if you'd like to see something special that we can make for you let us know we'd be love to do it absolutely you guys have a great day great evening we'll talk to you soon I got no fungus here. <laughs> so these are delicious. You're going to love them. And as always, if you can subscribe right over here. Oh, that's what you said. Darn it. All right. Ready? All right. All right. I want to introduce to you. No, just kidding. <laughs> are you ready? Here it goes. Hey everybody, this is Bear and Babu. And today we're making <laughs> the way you've been doing it, you throw me off. Alright, you ready? You act like you're gonna say something more so I can keep my mouth shut. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs>